the number one question on everyone's mind is how to properly sync Token Studio and Figma variables. So today, Mike's gonna walk you through how to do just that, where you're gonna learn how to properly set up your Token Studio, how to sync that for your Figma variables, so you have some colors that work on light mode and dark mode. Um, if you still are having trouble setting things up, I will put this template available for free to download on uicollective.co. And that link will be in the description. So Mike, take it away. In this video, we're going to show you how to create tokens in Token Studios and how to sync those to variables. So the first thing we're going to do is open Token Studios. Perfect. Uh, we'll start with an empty file for now. We'll rename this global, rename this to brand. Again, depending on your architecture for your tokens, we'll just add a simple color. We'll call it red 400. Let's create the red here. Create. Now, to create variables, you have to create a theme. So, create a new theme. And because we're going to have this theme allow for multiple brands, we'll create a folder called brand. And we'll call this one default right now. You'd obviously call it your brand name. We enable the tokens. We save the theme, we've got our color, we go to style variables, we go create variables. Let's add a little shape here. We'll add a corner radius. Didn't mean to do all those, but that's all right. Check our variables, and we have our brand folder here with our default brand, and it's red. Um, so now we select our object, hit red, and you can see that the variable here syncs with the token here now just to show you how amazing this is we can go to edit color change the red to blue and it syncs throughout rest isn't that magical okay so let's leave this back at red awesome uh, next we'll show you how to add a couple layers to this so we'll start with brand theme and then we'll add a light mode and a dark mode in the next lesson Okay, now that we've created a single color in our token studios and shown you how to sync that library to your variables, let's show you how to add a few more layers to your token architecture. So your architecture allows you to change tokens at different levels. It could be the brand level, the theme level, or the mapped level. And we'll go through each as we describe it. So right now we have brand which is where you define things like red or blue or whatever colors your brand might have. We're going to add a second color here for dark mode, and we'll call it red 200. It's going to be a slightly lighter color because we're going to use this as our primary red on dark. We want it to stand out a little bit. So now we have red 200 and red 400. Let's go and add what's called our alias level. And it doesn't have to be the word alias. It can be themed. But this level is where you want to start to take away the nomenclature of colors. So it's where we don't want to use words like red or blue, but start to use words like primary. And then primary is going to get mapped to one of your brand colors. This means that if primary needed to become blue, it could because it's called primary there. Therefore, it's not specifically applied to a color name. So that abstraction gives you some flexibility, but it is the primary color for this theme. So that's why we call this primary. And then we'll add another color. We'll call it primary light. And again, you could use hundreds for your scale. So this could be again, primary 200 and primary 400. I prefer to use primary as a default and then go primary light, lighter, lightest, because it lets designers know that this shade uh, that we're going to map here is slightly lighter than light, is slightly lighter than the primary color. So it gives the designer a bit of an understanding of why or what to expect when they choose that color. The company knows that it's Coke and its primary color is red, and it knows now that if it chooses primary light, it is going to be a lighter version of red. So this is how we create our aliased version. The next thing we're going to want to do is create our mapped versions. This is where we start to apply definitions to our colors and how they'll be applied to an experience, things like surface and text and so on and so forth. So we'll go surface mapped. 
and we'll add in our theme. So we're going to do a light theme or a light mode, depending on your naming structure. And we'll add one more. And the map just helps create a nice little folder structure so it's easier to know that these are, these are mapped. So under mapped, we're going to add a color here and we're gonna call it surface because that's our, our grouping. And you can group things you can do. Okay, I'm gonna do a surface group. And then I'm gonna do dot primary. And then I'll choose, now notice there's no colors here. These are little things that you run into with, with Token Studio's great application, by the way. Um, but if these aren't turned on, um, those colors won't be available. So we'll go back in and again, we'll add surface dot primary. And now we're going to map that to our, our theme, our primary theme. So now we have surface and primary, and that is mapped from our alias primary, which is mapped from our brand red. Now in dark mode, we're going to do the same thing. We'll go on, uh, oops, colors, and we'll go surface dot primary. And for dark mode, we're going to use primary light from our theme. So light mode, dark mode, or both have surface colors. These are both their primaries. So now we've got all of our colors mapped out, but we can't sync it yet to our variables. We have to add themes. So let's create and manage our themes. So I've pre-created these, so I'll delete them and recreate them just so we can go through this in a bit more detail. Okay, so we're gonna create a new theme here and we're going to create a new group and we'll call it alias. And this could be theme one, theme two, um, so in our case, we'll call it theme one and we'll unclick the mapped cause those aren't important yet. And we'll change this to source. So the source is brand. That's where it's getting its colors from. It's then going to alias and enabling alias. So does that make sense? Perfect. So we'll save that one. We'll add a new theme. We'll call this new group mapped the same way as we organized it and we'll call it light. Now in light, we're going to select map light and we're going to change alias to source. So brand is source, alias is source, and mapped is enabled. So map light, save theme, create a new one. And again, we're going to then select the group and we'll call this dark. And similarly, we'll select this and make sure that the alias and brand are selected as sources and that mapped is enabled. So now we have these, and this is great because I can easily select my color and I can say that we will choose the theme for light. It pre-selects brand and alias as source. And now when I apply my surface color, you'll see I get my surface color. Right now it's still red because we haven't synced up our variables, but we've built out our structure. So now when I go to styles and variables and I go create variables, Wicked. We can see that under brand, I now have our lighter brand, red to 100. Under default, if I go to aliased, I can see my primary and primary light under theme one, and I could have multiple themes within a company. Um, and then when I go to my mapped, I now see light and dark mode applied to a surface folder of colors and surface primary. So now when I select surface, See how it syncs the token? So the token is now enabled. So I can see my variable over here that is synced to my variable here that is synced to my design token. Now, a little trick here that I, I learned recently, if you do not have your light mode selected, so let's say I turn this off um, and I turn off alias and I turn off this, turn them back on, but notice how theme is still none. And I turn that on the color goes back to a hexadecimal color. So it goes back to its default. So if you want to see the pairing between your colors and your variables, you have to make sure that your theme is selected. Okay, that creates that consistency. And here's just your friendly reminder to sign up for uicollective.co, where you'll get access to all of our design system training and sweet free templates like this one, our token variables map, 
And we also did just launch our design system as well, where you get access to all these awesome components for your design system. But this is a paid template. Hope to see you online, UI Collective.